Coming up on today's show. The climate change. We don't learn about this at all. This is bad. And it's very bad. Let's face it, Mzanti, climate change is something we've been blue-ticking for far too long. But you can't ignore messages from mom forever. And by mom, I mean Mother Earth. <laughs> With extreme weather events coming at us faster than the public protector loses court cases, mm -hmm. and this past July being the hottest month in recorded human history, Again. July 2015. July 2016. July 2019 was the hottest oh, month yeah. ever recorded. People around the world are protesting in their thousands and demanding action. But here in SA, we've been a bit busy. Xenophobic looting in South Africa. A new wave of violence against women. South Africa's unemployment rate has increased to 29%. <laughs> Well, as we'll see in our upcoming episode, there's actually more activism in SA than you might think. But climate change seems pretty low on the agenda for most South Africans. Could it be because we have no idea just how bad things are? This is fine. And how much worse they're gonna get? That's okay. Let's get away. Climate change might be trending a lot in the news lately, but we've known about it for a long time, guys. Even now, man may be unwittingly changing the world's climate through the waste products of his civilization. That's not a vintage filter. This film is more than 60 years old. And here's an article from Essay's Rand Daily Mail from nearly 40 years ago. Unfortunately, this turned out right. Scientists around the world now agree that humans are causing the planet to heat up. We've already heated the planet by about one degree. This is bad. It's been calculated a few degrees rise in the Earth's temperature would melt the polar ice caps. In case the music wasn't obvious enough. It's bad, actually. It's very bad. And in 2019, we are starting to realize that the ice caps melting is just the beginning. Fires spread across 3 million hectares. Record-breaking heat wave. Heat wave. Heat wave. Chennai's four main water reservoirs have dried up. Namibia faces its worst drought in 35 years. 4,000 animals have died. Bulldozed, not by machines, but by nature. Giant inland sea, the product of Cyclone Edai. The scale of destruction is only becoming apparent. The first mammal extinction due to climate change has just been confirmed. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is dying. Iceland just held a funeral for a glacier. To understand how people across Africa are being affected, I spoke to Mako Malikalaka, an activist and 2018 winner of the Goldman Environmental Prize. Africa is affected more than all the other continents. We are experiencing droughts and in such that we are food insecure and poverty is being extremely exacerbated. And also through territorial wars, for example, in Sudan, and also now recently climate change induced natural disasters. Closer to home, we saw how day zero nearly caused an apocalypse in Cape Town. <laughs> And it didn't help that about half the world's media came to soak up all the drama. Cape Town is running out of water. I should be over my head in water. Normally I would be completely underwater. Imagination. They're calling it day zero. Day zero. Day zero. Day zero. Day zero. Day zero. Cape Town was spared by rain just in time. <laughs> But many towns across the country have already hit day zero. Dry rivers and an empty dam. These are meant to supply water to the town of Adelaide and surrounding areas. The water crisis in my kind of south of Beaufort West, it's a really, it's a real bad. It's bad, actually. It's very bad. Add to this, the massive floods in KZN this year, all made more likely by climate change. And it makes sense that the UN scientists are calling Mzante a climate hotspot because South Africa is heating up at twice, twice the, the global, global average. average. All of this is hurting agriculture, skyrocketing food prices, and even increasing levels of domestic violence. Shoo! Sure. The only way I'm gonna get through this is with a strong cup of tea. Any climate change here means the Roy Boss Bush is in trouble. No! Why can't we have nice things? I wish I had some good news for y'all, but I'm afraid that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you're watching this in 2050, Ask your grandparents. Scientists say we are on track for four degrees of global warming by 2100. What would that look like? So hot it hurts. See this map here. That red part covering Africa is so hot it's uninhabitable. And the yellow part covering the whole of SA. That's our entire country turned into a desert. And only these guys are going to be celebrating.
When you consider that scientists are basically telling us The roof! The, the roof! The roof is on fire! The roof! The roof! The roof, the roof, is, on the roof fire. is on fire! Why does it seem like no one is talking about this? For starters, a recent report from Afrobarometer found that just 41% of South Africans have heard of climate change, lower than almost all other African countries. And of those who have heard of it, the majority said it doesn't need to be stopped. Wait, what? I'm surrounded by idiots. Okay, so that's not great. But if we aren't aware of climate change, we should be asking ourselves if our media, political parties and government are giving it enough priority. Like in school, for example. The teachers, we, we don't learn about this at all. It's not something they bring up. You're, you're taught to go into society and to work until you could die. What's more, the news cycle is always covering the latest crisis or trend, from Cyril's funding to jobs to hashtag Siamita2019. But where are all these babies that you guys have committed to making going to live? We get misled to believe that we got 99 pounds, but climate change ain't one. And why do you think climate change is so low on the agenda for many South Africans? Maybe the use of the word or the term climate change is not what has been so much popularized. When people are saving water and responding to the impacts of climate change, but a bigger picture here is when South Africans are challenging coal mines, they won't say that we're doing this for the considerations of climate change, and they would say that we're doing this so that we can still live in harmony with nature. They wouldn't put the word climate change there. Damn, things are bad. Very bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but scientists say we have 11 years left to make big changes before we get locked into that four degree world of chaos. In the rest of our climate series, we will see if government is doing enough, who our big climate criminals are, and how young people are fighting back. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay woke, stay aware.